Plains is so special. We're the only town that, hometown that has a president. We have about uh, 215 households, 700 or so people in Plains. In the, the solar industry, a lot of the folks that, that I know think of him as kind of the father of the solar industry. And to have these panels in Plains today that will create um, more than half the energy that we utilize here in Plains is just really wonderful for us. It's, it's um, not dirty energy, it's clean energy. Well, I first became acquainted with solar power uh, when I lived uh, west of Plains on a farm, and we didn't, have we didn't have electricity or running water. And my daddy installed a, a windmill when I was 11 years old, and we've had running water in our house for the first time. That was a big move forward. Just as a symbolic matter, in 1979, uh, I installed 32 solar panels on top of the White House. When Ronald Reagan came in office, he said, we don't need to fool with renewable energy. We'll depend on oil and coal. And so we had a big setback from then on. Since then, under all the presidents, we've reduced our commitment to renewable energies. So I think this symbolically, uh, like these panels on the White House, little unit in planes, uh, will, will be very beneficial. It, it shows uh, what, what small town can do, and what one farmer can do. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> it's a fun time for us all. It's very, very excited that we get to kind of honor President Carter by having his own solar field in our little hometown. Already, the word has hardly gotten out, but we have people coming and say, where are the solar panels? We want to go see. President Carter has been a, a shining light in, in our lives and, and the world's life for a long time. And this is so special because of the, the legacy.